five pounds from Kansas City, Missouri, Bob Orton. everybody. Russ Davis speaking to you. Ringside International Amphitheater, Chicago. So here's a match that uh, we do hope you enjoyed. Boy by the name of Pat O'Connor is facing you. The guy with his back to you is the babyface villain Bob Orton. Expression never changes. He can cut you up in little pieces and stuff you in an old shoebox. Expression never changes. He's a meanie. He's campaigning for Luth as his belt. So is O'Connor. O'Connor's from down in New Zealand. So here we go. What is this? Two out of three falls or, or one? I never did hear. What is it, Clink? Hello. Look out. Above Frankie. One fall, 30 minutes on this one. Hey, fellers, 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 now let's not get rough with it. This Bob Orton, he's just as earner as any of the rest of them. You can come out now. Boys, boys, boys. Boy, he smacked O'Connor right in the teeth then. You didn't even hear it. Headlock. Mm. Side mare. One, two, mm. head scissors on O'Connor. Once in a while, you can see Mr. Orton using his knees over there. Yeah, no, Bobby. Careful, boy. Another flying mare. Flying mare. Hey, that's going to make a mess out of his nose. There's a knee drop. Another one. One, two. Nope, not quite. Another count of two. Body press that O'Connor has. Breaking that solar plexus kick up. Boy Orton's 
fast with it. Hey, hey, hey. Uh-oh. That I don't like, says Mr. Orton. Under the rope. There's an arm lock posted. Out of two on Orton. He's trying to rough up O'Connor's face. Fellers. Out of two. There's an arm bar on Orton here. to do it. I don't think you need an extra arm uh, around your trophy room, do you? There's liable to be one available here in a minute. this crowd here at International dislike Bob Orton so much. They really despise him. Connor has his shoulder lock, arm bar, and his knee in Orton's ear. Orton finally got a foot out over the rope. That's why the thing was broken up. What kind of a detail is that? I almost got kicked my, loose from my breakfast there. Come on, Connor. Come on. Look out. Uh, Orton thought Haycheck had grabbed him for a minute. in a waist lock, attempted. Pick up. Tall. Hold him, Martin. Hold him. You can cut his wind off that way. peel off but he's got himself a chin lock no yep he managed to get on top uh, of Haycheck does not presume to. Well, I don't know what. Drag. I ain't no lie.
get away from here, would you? You're too big. Look like our boy Patrick hung tight then. Well, Horton's giving him the knee right there in the tailbone. and O'Connor about as tough to crack up as anybody he's met yet. Here at International. And you can always get them by the hair if you can't get them any other way. Oh, what a kangaroo. Brother, Orton didn't even see that one come out of the North 40. Hey, John, would you mind moving it over? There's an arm off wing. There's a head scissors. Short. Or figure forward. generally gets out of these things by standing on his head and spinning. It's the most excruciating thing in the world to watch. Either that or he'll spring it by getting hold of Arton's toes. Look at him come out of there. He comes out so quick that it actually is a painful thing to Orton. A sudden relaxation of the muscles. Hey, hey, hey. That's on the big bass drum you're hitting him there. in this thing with a little more heat on it look at that guy come out of there there's a half crab or a reverse leg lock he doesn't say anything tony horton got that one by getting a hold of the waistband and these wrestlers trunks is fully capable of towing a car boy and they really Swing one another around by him. O'Connor trying to crowd Orton off of him, of him, get away from this knee lock. One. Hey, O'Connor, the man's talking to you. I whacked him in the side of the head with his elbow there. Oh, that 
the cute way to get a guy loose. <laughs> says Mr. Orton. Orton, chin, lower lip, a little bit scuffed up from that kick that he took from O'Connor. up that headlock, he vacated and released it in a hurry. He just lead no corner around here to take a purchase on his hair in order to pull his head back up in that thing. See what I mean? Bob Orton, Pat O'Connor wrestling here, if you just happened in. This is Russ Davis speaking to you from ringside. put a body slam on you. takedown that O'Connor had put on him there. It's a feint. Orton was... There goes that same detail again by the Heron with a hammerlock. finger you have there separate from the others mr orton makes him wiggle on this end we can tell it Down on us. 
once again. Up on Plinky's chair. Look out, Plink. Oh. No, no, no. Horton trying to fall on him here. Horton trying to shorten up his fall. One. Have you ever seen anything like this? Well, that handles that. Headlock. Could this be? Could this be? One, two, three, it is. get this all made official for you here in just a minute. The time, 21 minutes and 3 seconds with a reverse Jack Knight, the winner, Pat O'Connor. Well, Pat O'Connor has won from Bob Orton. This is Pappy Davis speaking to you, Ringside International Amphitheater, and uh, we'll be seeing you.